All right, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play World of Warcraft Battlegrounds. I'm Digital Adhesive, and as always, I'm playing as Ratzak, my horde undead priest. And a couple of things have changed. Uh, notably, I am level 20 now. What does that mean? Well, it means everyone uses mounts now in uh, Battlegrounds, which sort of changes the nature of the game, uh, at least in the opening. Because normally what I would do is I would run out with the rest of my team and I would start my power word shield rotation almost immediately and just follow the group and keep cycling it uh, and, and that would be that. Uh, now we're going to be all mounted so we're going to be moving faster and I'm not going to be able to get uh, any buffs up and going until, uh, until we dismount most likely either at the flag room or the, the tunnel to the flag room or if we decide to uh, break off and engage a bunch of alliance so I have to get used to doing that first uh, first of all it was a little simpler when we were all just kinda jogging along and I was able to keep buffs up on everyone and we could kind of engage at our leisure now things are gonna happen a little faster and I won't have the luxury of having this wall of buffed shielded teammates running at the enemy so this first thing I'm gonna have to do pretty much as soon as I dismount is uh, start casting power word shield on everyone around me and try and make up for that lost time um, see I got uh, a little t guy who looks like uh, my twin brother here I don't know maybe we were separated at birth or something but he's got the exact same uh, gear that I do and three seconds two one off we go gonna take a sip of coffee uh, and I'm going to get used to this sight of running outside the starting area and mounting over and over and over again. So I'm not playing with anyone today, it's just me and uh, nine random players. So I'm just trying to stay with the pack and do the most good. I used to think that in Warsong uh, Gulch, uh, defense uh, was important, but the more I play, the more it feels, and again, I'm no authority, but the more it feels like the best thing to do is just send everyone at the flag, cap it, and then, or capture it um, from the enemy base, and then on the way back to turn it in, take out the enemy flag carrier. Um, people, you know, leaving a few people behind, maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. I'll leave that for the philosophers to decide, but uh, I like being on the rush. All right, so there's a whole bunch of people who agree with that philosophy here. Uh, pop up, start shielding everyone. Uh, we, uh, we've got their flag. They don't have ours yet for some reason. I'm not sure why. Who knows, maybe we left some people on defense and it worked out. I don't know. But uh, Just running out with uh, my druid friends here and trying to uh, protect the flag carrier. Now, in, in this map, I forgot, because I haven't played uh, Warsong Gulch in a really long time uh, before I started doing this. I couldn't remember if you could run with the flag, or if you could mount up with the flag, and uh, I discovered you can't, but I, uh, I didn't know that for a little while. But druids make great flag carriers because they can transform into, um, into cr different creatures that give them a bonus to their move speed anyway. All right, so we got a skirmish going on uh, to the right of me. Uh, they've got our flag. I'm trying to figure out the best angle of approach. Now, always, it's by the other healers, or no, other healers and other teammates in general. Try and get offensive here. Get feared. I uh, I will the forsaken out of it. A racial ability that lets me break uh, charm, fear, or. Um, Stun, I think, every uh, two minutes, in addition to the trinket. It's very handy. And trying to get the flag back and just run with the group. Start to get a little nervous here, because I see I'm around uh, four or five, uh, five enemies, and I switch from offense to defense and uh, start checking the... Uh, start checking the life bars of all my teammates. I showed the uh, first video I made to a, uh, a guildmate of mine 
and she has a level 90 rogue, and she's been PvP, or not rogue, level 90 priest, and she's been PvPing for quite a while. And uh, she thought I did generally good the first time around, but one thing she told me was to use penance more often, which you'll see me trying to do here, um, because it's only got a 10 second cooldown, and it's a great fast offensive or defensive spell. And one of the reasons why you want to use it as much as possible is it's just wasted potential if you're not using it. It could, like I said, it can dish out that healing or that damage really quickly. Um, and it's, I don't know, if you play like an RTS game and a real-time strategy game and you're not saving for anything in particular and you have a lot of resources that you're not using, it's called floating resources and it's just a nice fancy word for unused potential and that's probably an imperfect analogy but I think you understand what I'm trying to say here all right so I'm with my uh, my little clone here running back our friend got sapped of course which means there's a rogue hang hanging out here pop down the Siphine, which I love I can't believe I used to play without that thing uh, it starts fearing people in the room I start burning them down with penance and my teammates just finish them off there's that rogue. Run, you bastard. God, I hate rogues. <sighs> They're the only class that, like, I really fear uh, dealing with as a priest right now. And just trying to figure out where everyone is. If you look up on the mini-map on the upper right-hand corner, you can see we're all kind of clumped together, but I'm not in line of sight of anyone, and if I'm not in line of sight, I'm pretty useless. Uh, you also saw that... Uh, they have our flag down there, so my guess is we're going to try and pig pile on them and get our flag back. And all of a sudden I'm all alone, and I don't like it. And I see a monk, and I try and open up. It looks like that monk is spec for healing though, thanks to that massive red cross. Throw down the Cyphiend. Uh, Cyphiend fears a druid away. Start working on... Uh, Monk, Druid comes back, and all of a sudden I start to feel very nervous. My uh, priest buddy comes and helps back me up, heal myself, and try and uh, figure out what I'm going to do here. Uh, yeah, there's that Druid again. Just try and penance him, and we're kind of cross healing each other, trying to burn him down. He's being healed pretty well by that Monk, but it's not enough. like we're dealing with a pet there. I can't tell if that's a pet or if that's actually... Oh, looks like that was a druid too. A lot's changed since I played last, so uh, I, I have to... It takes me a little while to recognize what's what exactly, especially in classes that I've never played before, like the druid. All right, so now I'm just trying to be a bully on uh, the battlefield here. I see a few people off to the side, want to try and pick them off, like this poor, uh, <laughs> this poor monk again. Um, and... This is, gets pretty silly because uh, she can heal herself pretty damn well. You can see she can keep her up. In fact, I get frustrated because after penance and uh, dotting her with Shadow Word Pain, I got nothing left. Uh, so I try and go in and just bonk her with my staff uh, for all it's worth, which is, is not that much. So she's healing. I'm standing there trying to burn her down. And uh, I finally give up. It's just not worth it. Throw the Siphine down. Maybe uh, it can uh, crowd control that... Um, that rogue right there, which it, it does uh, until we start laying the pain on. Now I see that she's starting to heal him, which means she's not healing herself. So now I start laying on the pain when I see that. And lo and behold, it works. And uh, <laughs> she managed to keep the, uh, the rogue up for uh, a little while, but not long enough. And we've already got two caps here. Uh, I haven't even participated in any of the flag capturing. I've just been too distracted trying to, um, you know, keep the enemy distracted and uh, keep them uh, away from uh, the flag carriers. And it's been working pretty well. Um, I really like this guy, uh, this this other priest here who's decked out just like me. He seems to uh, be doing the exact same thing I am. And uh, two priests, two disciplined priests, uh, make a pretty good team. All right, try and burn this rogue down. Easy peasy, especially with all of us around there. It's no contest. And just trying to sort of run the clock out right now while, uh, to, while either, um, uh, so we either win by running out of time with two caps or we win by a third cap. Don't really care. 
just trying to keep everyone busy. There's that druid again, and you can see a pretty common theme here. We're all just sort of hanging out right in front of their um, the entrance to their uh, their flag room, and I'm just trying to keep everyone up so they can kill, and it's working really well. Looks like we have three priests on our team total. I don't know if the other two, like I said, are disciplined priests, but uh, it seems to be a growing trend these days. And this is just... We're just sort of doing cleanup here. We have their flag. They don't have our flag. Uh, so I expect we're going to win any moment now. And I don't even know who has it. Bang. Not bad. And that was enough to level me up uh, to 21 from 20. And it looks like my XP bar didn't even really change that much. I just got a whole bunch of XP from that. So yeah, good match. Anyway, I'm Digital Adhesive, and I will catch you next time. Thank you.